Okay, so we're here at Fish Cake in Kaka'aka with Melissa Rivera. <laughs> and um, if you guys watch HGTV, she just came off the White Room Challenge. And um, so you know her style. So we just wanted to talk to her today and see what's up. What's up? <laughs> so as far as the White Room Challenge, mm -hmm. um, how was that experience? Like, um, did it meet your expectations going in? Like, when you when you went on the set and everything and got the challenge, was it like what you thought it was going to be? Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a very weird thing because it's called reality TV, but at some point it's not fully real. Like you're connected to a thing where you're some camera person's following you around and it's not really fully normal situation. But, you know, my expectations were about it were just like, you know, I'm just going to go and do the best I can. And people there were really, really really nice to us like they really treated us very well they weren't there to really cause like cat fights like other networks i guess and stuff uh, they were really there to try to help us come up with good rooms you know and and uh you know it, it was a great experience it's a great challenge uh to put yourself out there and see how you're going to react under pressure you know sometimes you don't know until you're in that situation but the situation was extra unique i've been in situations where you're stressed with time and stuff but this is something else. Time goes like tries as fast that I wish it would be, but um, but a great experience, definitely. Yeah. I'm just thankful I could be part of it and um, and experience that. And it makes you really humble and about when you're what the one sitting on the couch watching the show on TV about like oh my gosh, you know these guys do go through a lot. Like it's edited, that doesn't get to be seen. Or um, you know just being there makes you realize how much those people, like even if it's Project One or other other things like that they go through. This was just one episode, so I can't even imagine a whole series of them, you know? So um, it's definitely fun, stressful, exciting, lots of emotions going in at this point. So that's kind of cool. It was really neat to get a taste of it. Now you I, need a giant robot, right? For the White Room Challenge. Yeah, I decided to go for it. You know, it was funny because I didn't want people to just be like, oh, all she knows how to do is robots, right? But in the <laughs> end, we were designing for children. I am a kid at heart. I actually, I guess I said that in the in the challenge during HGTV. But, um, you know, they asked us to design something that related to children and that I didn't know if the kids would go in there and test it out so I figured they would just levitate to go for a robot, a big robot, like I would, you know. Okay. Um, as far as the ones for Unleashed, those were created more out of different parts that I find and in different places like Home Depot and stuff and then I make my own parts for them to make them more designed not just like you can go and grab certain pieces and make your own, you know, I had to make it Unleashed. Um, so I did design certain parts of it. It's tricky because you have to find parts that fit together um, and that look good. Uh, but I don't know, I've always like had a little thing for robots. I like that they can come up in different shapes and sizes, have one eyeball, two eyeballs, one arm, <laughs> one wiggly arm, one tough one. I don't know, they're fun. Um, but that's just a part of, you know, Unleashed. But yeah, I just happened to be that I decided to go for that, for the candy, trip to the candy store episode. <laughs> But it worked out, I guess, in the end. I recently designed these two dog houses that I'm kind of proud of. Um, they're designed ready to assemble and stuff, and uh, I've been getting a lot of feedback, a lot from Europe and different countries and stuff, so it's been interesting to hear that. Um, so I'm trying to figure out, I mean, it's a whole other world, the dog world, you know. I You learn when you make things like, oh, there's actually, like, people who have little dogs that I want to pimp them out <laughs> that like are willing to you know spend on their dogs and get them these little cute houses and stuff so for me it's fun it's a different scale and proportion but you know I guess the dog houses for now maybe because they're the last ones that I made uh, the robots and spaces are fun too I worked at a, the National Children's Museum in mm -hmm. Mexico City and that was really really cool because we were designing like big toys for kids to play with and learn. So that's kind of thing. So, but yeah, that, the dogs were fun, especially because I had this really adorable dog model them called Bobby Gorgeous. All of my friends know about him. Probably. He's famous. He's a famous yeah. dog. Oh my god. He's all fluffy. And he's like a little cotton ball. <laughs> I saw him once and I was like, okay, he has to be my model. And he was adorable. He knows what he's doing. He's like, got it down. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta see the photos on my website. <laughs> But um, but yeah, you know, and you see that 
actually was passing out on one of them at the end of the forge that I was like testing the product, you know. In a course of study like industrial design rather than more traditional <laughs> art or graphic design. Um, well, I decided to go to school for industrial design because I always had the passion for making things. I was like painting and drawing, but I always enjoyed also creating things more in a three-dimensional level, and I liked sharing them with people. Uh, so industrial design, what it does is it allows you to design things, making them look awesome, you work with engineers and stuff, but at the same time you get to end up producing things and possibly putting them in stores and sharing them and solving problems for people, you're designing to uh, make people's lives better at the end of the day. So I kind of enjoyed that and besides industrial design touches upon, it could be from furniture to toy design to shoe design, it touches upon a lot of different fields. So that's kind of why I ended up kind of aiming for industrial design. I liked it because it was so general and I could mess around in different Industrial design, I guess, well, it's like anything. If you're going to make a film, you have to, a film about astronauts, you have to end up researching what they do to be able to make it realistic. When you're designing, it's not like always all fully mathematical, no? but you have to understand certain basic things about measurements or, you know, scale and proportions and things like that to be able to make things work. Uh, that's why we work with engineers a lot of the times too bring things back to sort of reality. Sometimes we have might have crazy ideas that are very more abstract and artistic, but at the same time, you, when you bring it back to the mathematical or the actual real situation, you have to merge both together to create something. Sometimes it's hard because us as designers, we want to make certain things look really neat or like a certain sm smooth shape or something like that, but if it's technically not doable in the inside, uh, you have to kind of find a way to merge both together and it's kind of neat because it becomes more of a challenge I think in comparison to just making one piece that looks awesome but it's not functional or you know bringing those two I think to me makes it more interesting more challenging and that's what I love about it to use try to use a little bit of both. What's your favorite part of teaching? <laughs> I guess the my favorite part of teaching well my master's was in art and design teaching education so since I got to Hawaii I was just planning on teaching and you know sharing you know, a little bit of what I know with people, but now I'm at HPU and I, I would just really love being able to share what you love to do and even if it's just a little taste uh, of it, uh, share it with people and it pushes you to keep pushing yourself to growing because you always learn every day. Sometimes I even still consider myself a, a student in a way, you know, there's always new things to learn. Um, I love teaching, I guess, there because I also get to meet people from different countries and and as I say, you never know where that information that you're sharing, where that's going or whose life you might be changing. So I think I'm fortunate to be able to call myself a teacher and, and I appreciate that opportunity, you know? So um, I love sharing what I know. All right, so, so my pieces, I have, I design graphic things. I have t-shirts and prints of an animal series and it's online. You can go to my website on this under store there's like t-shirts, prints, and uh, my products, and that's right there. And then my products, and my and I have t-shirts at Fish Cake, where my products are too. You can see some right behind me, right here. And um, That little yeah, dog lamp? Yeah, this is called the Luz lamp. And it's based on a little dog that I had called Luz that I took home to Mexico. And, Aww. Uh, yeah, and Luz means light, so I figured I'd name that. And this one has like a little drawer if you open the back. Oh. So it has storage. If you pull its little butt out, uh. <laughs> tail, uh, you can store things. And this bike here is like a dry erase boards. They're really like paint lines coming down that become three dimensional. It has a uh, storage in between right here. It's dry erase surface so you can write things down and with these uh, you know, rollers for paint, you can pull them out and they become erasers. So it's multifunctional. That's the kind of stuff that I really love to do. Wow. So um, it's shelves, it's storage, it's clean lines, and you know, and all this is at Fish Cake. So you guys should come and check it out. Uh, they're one of a kind sort of art pieces at the moment. So if you're around when the person buys it, would you sign the back? If they ask me to. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, <laughs> of course, I'm here and you know, if, any, if you have questions of anything, I'll answer them. You know, at the moment, as I say, I'm trying to test out pieces and stuff, but I can custom make things for people and, uh, and most of all, you know, maybe 
if you have an interior space or something, you can go in and add unique pieces to it or just help you make your life better than changing the whole thing. You know, I'm very multi, I'm a multi-functional designer, I guess, too, as far as what I can do. So, but yeah, and Fish Cake is kind of the place I have most of my pieces. That's why we're here. So.